YouTube. Got the wood splitter here while I'm waiting for parts for the Honda. I'm gonna split some wood. Got a nice pile going already here. Okay, once I get into some bigger pieces, I uh, continue. It's the Harbor Freight, the wood splitter, the cheaper one. Okay, just cut it a, a really big round. I'm gonna get the size of it there. For some reason the camera didn't come on. But that's, it's a pretty big piece. Uh, as soon as I get another one, I'll uh, show you that video too. Got a uh, got a knot in it right there where a branch used to be. So that was a tough one. See that knot right there, right? A branch. And basically, I cut downward from these branches. If I cut downward, it's a lot easier to break it here. split downwards anyway <laughs> but this was the bigger end down here big round right here guys see what it's like using my knees okay. With this one, you're gonna have to chip around the edges. Make like cut here, here, here if you can, and so on, and work your way down to where you could split it. It's just one of those big things, you know, that, and, and it's wet. It's definitely wet. See all the dirt here? This ain't good for a machine, but. So, you pull from the back. That'll come out, see? Let's turn it back. I'm gonna have to get this in a position. Uh, okay, let's see what that does. See where I have that? Might even have to go more over, like that. Chip away. Again, keep trying. The angle, of the, the angle of the wood is off. See? Okay, hey, after half a dozen uh, tries, uh, show you what happened here. I was able to get a good connection on there to split that piece. Now I'm going to work this connection a little bit more and try to split this piece here. Because this is huge. A huge log, you know. And I was cutting with this side pushing to the blade. This side was pushing to the blade. And so I reversed it. And had the bigger side going into the blade, you know. And I was able to get a cut on that. 
big piece there. Phew. later finally split it in half all the pieces from that thing right here some I have to cut more like this one goes back pretty wide it's good to have a machete on hand just so you could break through some of these pieces in the center Oops, you don't want to hit that of course but good to have Let's see if we, this one has a knot on the bottom, so probably better off just uh, flipping this one. Get that flipped right there. If I can. So the cut is off. So here, this one, I want to push it to the left. Okay. So, I gotta work on that piece. Hey YouTube. Now the one I just got done splitting, that huge big one. It really should have been split in half, okay? I just wanna let you guys know that. With a wedge and a sledgehammer, it should have been split in half. So I'm just trying to show you what you could do with this little guy. And uh, it's really working out well for me. And a nice stack of wood here going. And a nice stack back there. A smaller stack of wood back there already. For this winter. This is all full. That one's all full. So, got a good head start. We're almost the end of uh, August. So I have September. And October. To do wood. And I'll be, of course, going to get more wood. There's a couple of trees down. So I'm going to go ahead and, and cut them up. You know, I'm definitely going to hit all the ones like this first. Work that tree all the way back into the stump. I know the big stuff is good too. But what I'm looking for right now is easy. Easy stuff. So I want to get all that stuff where somebody else grabs it, you know. Cause this stuff adds up. You get a couple, couple truckloads of this stuff. You got a nice pile of wood, you know, in the back of my Jeep, you know. So anyway, got a lot of logs out back. Talking to the spaceman. Talking to the ghost. What? The ghost. <laughs> I'm talking to Joel. Talking to the ghost. Just a lot of work, Ed. <laughs> you don't know what these phones are. He's a good guy, though. He don't understand the phone. Anyway, I got all this stuff. Look at the size of these quarters. I was working with some big stuff. Look at this. I'm working with some big stuff. Yeah, he don't. He don't know that you could do videos on a, on a phone. You know. <laughs> Old school, that guy. No computer, no not. So, so, this is some of the stuff uh, I'm going to be working on. I know it's, this is a little bit smaller from what I had out there. So just to give you guys a quick look. And see, I got my... That's a big piece right there. I got my axe head in there. Got my heavy hammer. Over here. Uh, very hard. Getting a chainsaw in there. 
as you can see all the rocks and down went down here all right loaded with rocks you know sharpening the blade all the time and here's a big piece and still trying to get it split in half i hit it a couple times in the center hit it here this thing just don't want to split so i'm going to try it again you know right now it's probably wet from all the rain we've been having there's um, some big wood I've been dealing with here. And, you know, that's like a two pieces right there. So I got the rest of this to go. I got to get all these logs here up. All these logs. Here, a couple over there, yeah, got to do. Get all this stuff up, and then I got to start cutting this one. But before I get into these two, I'm going to uh, start cutting the trees and that are down so I can get that easy wood this year. Stuff like this. You know, easy wood. So anyway, I sure do appreciate you guys watching. And if you're teeter-tottering, if, if you should get the Harbor Freight wood splitter, that's the cheap one, the cheap one. I would say get it. No, don't waste your time. Time is... Right now is getting wood, you know, so I would definitely get it because it's, it's my second year with it and it's doing really well. Really well. There's another one. See, these I, I cut on the sides like this and knock that piece off, knock this piece off, knock a wedge here, knock here. Then I'm able to finally get in the center and split, but that's how you work it. Or just split the thing in half. And you, with a hammer and a sledge, and you won't have any issues, you know. But I'm trying to get stuff done real quick. And uh, it's a lot of work. There are a couple logs over there yet. Some pine. Got some pine back there, too. So it burns really good. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Thumbs up, guys. It's a lot of work. And I'll get back to you. Sometimes I add a piece to make up for the piece up here where it don't split all the way. Damn, right there. Just wanted to give you a look at some of the other wood I've cut here. And the reason I cut, like, split this stuff here is because it's a good fire starter, you know. I cut this up, it's a good fire starter. Helps to have small pieces too, as well as big pieces. But yeah, yeah, I don't know if you guys heard my neighbor, but he's like, what are you talking to, spirits? <laughs> See, here's me out here with the ghost box every now and then, the spirit box and stuff. Anyway, thanks for watching.